So I recently went to Port Orleans Riverside Resort where I stayed there for a week and I had been hearing these stories about the beignets over at French Quarter and how you got to try them. So as part of being there, I'm like, you know what, I'll splurge and I'll try the sugary treat that I know is not good for me. So I went to go buy these beignets over at French Quarter and there were these two young girls and they were, they were to um, make me aware enough because I was minding my own business but to get my attention enough through their actions to make me aware that they were making fun of me on what I was eating and then even they were inside and then even when I took the beignets outside and I sat at a table there was another woman there with her family who was also a larger guest and she was also kind of looking at me in the same way like is this girl really going to eat this and they made me very very aware my age or younger I have no idea but young girls who were also indulging in these beignets and trying them out and I myself am very petite um, I don't eat red meat and even if I did I would still be genetically small it's in my nature and these two girls really went out of their way of these differences in in body acceptance at Disney World here's the controversial line I apologize for being too thin at Disney World I am small I am very petite and I know I am very thin and this is how I have been my entire life and I apologize for being too thin at Disney World I stand out a little Little bit too much at Disney World even due to body weight I did not feel this way actually at Universal Studios I actually felt at Universal I very much so fit in and I thought the average guest at Universal Studios was actually thin and in shape I definitely stand out too much at Disney World I did not feel this way at Universal Studios I felt at Universal Studios actually the average person was in shape was it was thin um, I think the average person was generally very good looking at Universal Studios and that's the nature of them seeking out roller coasters that they can fit on and that's been a whole other complaint I think I'm gonna talk about in another video where people um, who are primarily Disney guests are very upset that they do not fit on a ride um, and and actually I didn't eat very much of it I tried it and I thought it was disgusting no offense if you like the beignets but I thought the powdery mess of them was absolutely disgusting it's not even a treat if I'm gonna eat a treat like a proper cake or a donut or something like that but I'm not gonna eat something where the weird all over me all the sugar and everything absolutely disgusting and a lot of the Disney vloggers think is so funny what was bewildering and a little surprising because I was not in this frame of thought the only reason I'm even making these videos is because I've experienced a lot of these bizarre encounters and I want to talk about these things on my mind so thank you guys for watching I know it's controversial but these are my honest thoughts and I'm always gonna be honest with you so if you enjoyed the video that's great but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again in my next video and bye And it doesn't, it like doesn't taste awful, but I really don't think it tastes good either.